Video games, comics, and movies to uncensored social commentary. Nothing is off limits. With your hosts, Pistol Pete Jr., The Blue Guy, Chuck Ditch, G Roll, and Player Two, this is The Real Press Start. So sit down, load up, log in, and press start. Petering Welcome. Out Podcast. <laughs> Welcome back. To the real press start. We're not the goddamn <laughs> Continue on to see how we put <laughs> out this episode. <laughs> I'm your host, Pistol Beat Jr. I'm here with Chub Didge and G-Roll, a.k.a. Mr. Leftward Slope and Penis. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> I expected you to finish. I, I expected you to go, but I said AKA, then you didn't do anything, so mm-hmm. I stole the little dicky line. <laughs> um, G roll. <laughs> AKA <laughs> Dick. G Weezy, AKA GI, <coughs> AKA DJ Diamond Nuts, AKA Mr. Get Off Me Suck a Dick, AKA The Two Step McGillicuddy, AKA Hamburger Yoshi. <laughs> AKA, AKA G Roll Norrington. Baby Huey. <laughs> AKA Audrey. Is it Audrey or. Yeah, Audrey yeah. the Giant. Audrey the Giant. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about Audrey the Giant. <laughs> um, so, like in Captain Marvel. It's next week. We watched it. Next week. Just kidding. <laughs> I was. You got the scoop? I was going to go. Yeah. I, you know, I got the screener, so. <laughs> I was trying to get tickets for this Saturday. Uh-huh. Sold out. Every fucking... The Puente Hills, completely sold out. For Saturday? For Saturday. Mm-hmm. I feel like this movie's just gonna do good because of Endgame. I mean, uh... Yeah, Endgame. Well, well Infinity... It's gonna do Inf- good sales-wise, or you're saying... I feel like that's why it's so much hype, because oh, of yeah. Endgame. It, well, Infi- no, the next... Infinity War per- set it up perfectly. Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. But yeah. people want to know what's going to happen. They want clues of yeah. what's happening in Endgame. And yeah. This is your next. This might as well might as well be Infinity War two point five. You know. Yeah, like, that's what it. Or like, yeah, it's like a. Or no, or what you know, like when they when they do like. It's a just game, a piece of the puzzle. It's like it's it's a little. It's point five because it happens before everything else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a piece of the puzzle. So. Yeah. And that's what it is. Is every, every right now every after especially after Infinity War because the other movies they kind of work on their own. They all they obviously build off the previous movies, mm-hmm. but this one. With this is like War, there's the, so much. Qu- this is so many like questions. The, this, this is, is like the Monday something. Night Raw after like WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's gonna happen? Got a different belt. There's been there's been a lot of drama yeah. with uh, Rotten Tomatoes and stuff on uh, for Captain that people Marvel. Were yeah, I was gonna because I, I I saw some. I, 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 they already I, gave it a ninety nine percent Rotten Tomatoes. No, no. Uh, well, supposedly um, they supposedly trolls had gotten on the on the site mm-hmm. and were review bombing it. Um, and ba- and basically, uh, I guess Rotten Tomatoes before a movie comes out, uh, there's like a rating for how much people want to go see like the it. The hype, yeah. Uh, and then so people are like going, putting it at like five percent or whatever, saying mm-hmm. that it's just like SJW uh, bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, see, I don't get that though. It's like people, like people want to just hate. People if if it was hate S- shit, if it was shit. SJW, it would be like. Uh, you're gonna do like a Captain America, like with a woman, mm-hmm. like that's an SJW. But this is already a female. Yeah, yeah, she's a, it's a she's female. Been, character. She's always been a female character. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. So. Well, the very first Captain Marvel was a male, but it, like very quickly it was changed to a female. She's been a female they, for decades. Mm-hmm. And they're bitching about this, but they want to bitch about Black Panther being nominated for best. <laughs> 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 no, a lot of people are. Remember we talked about that that one? It was like uh, just because it was a. I forget there was a director that he came out and it was like. Just it's a comic book movie, but because it's a black comic book movie, yeah. it's nominated for an Oscar. Yeah, mm-hmm. and you know, yeah, because Infinity War is way better than Deadpool black Two was way better than was way better than fucking. But see, I think Black Panther because black the Oscars Panther. like normally I don't watch Oscar movies because Oscar movies are they're like there's a certain movie that they, that the Oscars 
watch. Yeah, or the, yeah but they, they've always gone out of Not their always. Way. I mean, like, they're not always my... Like, yeah, no, they're good. But they've they're always good, gone out not... of their way to be like, no, we don't do comic book movies. We don't yeah. do these big uh, mm-hmm. studio type... But I think Black uh, Panther, because... Hype movies. It was, yes, yes, it's a comic book movie, but I think it was slightly deeper in content no, it when it came to the it whole... Really, it, really, it wasn't. Well, it had a facade of it. Oh, what it was, it was, it was just deeper in culture. It had no, a, in, yeah, in, true. In, a, in a culture, so... Well, it had a facade. Yeah. I feel like it had a facade of that. Hashtag Oscar so white. It had a facade so of white. deeper. Oscar so black. It had a facade of deeper thing to be like, oh, here's no, the... Mo- I, I... Yeah, because here's the motivation, and, and the only... the. It's like a base level, like, oh, the, you could see the bad guy's point of view, too. And that's kind of what they've been doing with all the movies. Like, you could see the bad the bad guy's not... Like, you see their point of view, kind of. So they kind of did as that with Age of Ultron. The way it's not as I black think... and white. All of, almost all of them. Like, like uh, Thanos, like, okay. Oh, yeah, no, I'm you saying... You see his point of view. But I'm saying from Age of Ultron is when they kind of started doing that. You understand their that, motivation. I think they got better at it with Black Panther. Whereas with Black Panther, you're like... Yeah, but it was still just as formulaic as all the other ones. I guess... He fucking. I don't the rain is picking up. He beats fucking up. Uh, maybe he beats so fucking. People listen to when the bad asleep. guy comes out of nowhere. He beats the fucking protagonist. Mm-hmm. The protagonist comes back from the brink I've, of yeah. death. It's Rocky. It's Rocky. It's always Rocky. It's 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 an <laughs> archetype storyline. Yeah, it's, it's formulaic. It's not fucking a, 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 a best movie of yeah, the year. Usually, original. best movies of the year are not are supposed to be not non formulaic. Yeah, true. Original works. But did it win any Oscars? It, okay, it, it won. Black Panther, yeah. Yeah, it, it won, won like shit. Like, yeah. I know sound, costume design was sound okay, design yeah. or something. Or but it didn't, original you know, soundtrack or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Spider-Man, that's... The, I, it was, to me, it was, it was Spider-Man or... Uh, what was the other one? It was not yeah, for best. Spider-Man, so... Dude, I, I, okay. I just finished downloading it. We can watch it in a bit. I um, think there was Black Klansman... No, for yeah. Best Animated. Um, oh, Best Animated? Uh, it was it, between... It was Wreck-It Ralph. It was between Wreck-It Ralph, Spider-Man, and... uh Isle the Incredibles. Dogs. Incredibles 2. Yeah. Oh, there's more, but I'm saying... Yeah, yeah. Spider-Man. Those Spider-Man are the three only, that I yeah. mean. And then that was that, like, Japanese one. Hey, wait, hold on. Let, let me do something really quick. Why? Listen to the sound of the rain. Close your eyes. It's not even... Take, <laughs> take a deep breath. <laughs> I can't listen to anything. I don't hear it. <laughs> You're just going to hear, like, shh. I don't, uh, no, because it sounds pretty loud, so I don't know if it is picking up. I, I just want to... <laughs> just because it sounded perfectly like one of those, like, sound sound machine rains. <laughs> Take a deep breath and close. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I uh, to me like the Oscars. It's bogus. It's bogus. It's bullshit, and it's bogus. It's bullshit. I think it's bogus. when it comes to yeah, it's like the Oscars is one of the ones like to me it's like the biggest like shit show of them all because it's a bunch of old people, like old fucking industry fucking people, mm-hmm. picking the movies they like the best. You know. Yeah, Whereas, and I don't see where where they what the criteria is yeah it's like like there's no like clear criteria yeah but so it's, so like, it's like for something like the people's choice award where there's vote there's actual voting yeah that's or, better i think that's better it's like this is what the people like mm-hmm. but even still that's still like whatever the most popular shit is yeah like, mcv music awards are very similar so that's music. always flawed too but yeah if there was some <laughs> we gotta do it like the presidential election where it's like <laughs> it's an the, electoral like, college yeah <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's how they should do, uh, like, fights. Like, with the judging. Like, mm-hmm. in, like, Electoral College. Like, the fans pick the people who they want to decide to... Th- who, who decides wins the fight. Yeah, 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 Like, we vote on the judges that judge the fight. Yeah, but see, that can go that can go either way, too, then. Because it's like... Every, okay, so just for an example, a, a, a Conor McGregor fight. Well, because you... Because now, like... Well, let's say this fight. Go, this fight. Even... Everybody's a fan of John Jones, right? So, like, the fans of John Jones are probably... John Jones. <laughs> A lot of people are Fucking still fans of John bitch. Jones, regardless of what he does. But I'm telling him that to his face. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> but yeah, because well, no, you yeah. could go look at their judge rating, and then you go look, you look at all the all the fights that they judged and who they picked. Yeah, and then you go like, oh, you know what, this guy. He always votes he, 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 John he kinda, way, or he always goes so and so's way. Or he, no, no, it's just like you could even recollect, like, oh, I saw this fight. He picked the right guy, mm-hmm. and so on. Like, yeah. uh, well, there's gonna be it. those people, and then there's also gonna be people who, let's say, are going for bets. Yeah, they're gonna. Yeah, who's gonna? Who's yeah, gonna it, either swing it and give it the under, give the underdog an upper hand. Or, yeah, yeah, that that'd be weird. I wonder how they could do that. But I think I think it was either way. No, because it's anytime there's human 
emotion or a human yeah. human uh it's always gonna be addition flawed. into the into any equation like that is gonna be flawed based yeah. on people because people. people are terrible yeah they are <laughs> they're wishy-washy well that should be the name of this episode this, this fucking podcast is people are terrible podcast nope. it's petering no, out podcast you're yeah, not escaping it <laughs> um you can't help it Good bang. I'm gonna go back into every show on uh, on Anchor, and I'm gonna change it all to Peter and Alex. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be the, the, the intro, everything, the same music, everything. Uh-huh. Welcome to the game, the Petering Out Podcast. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's Sit gonna... down. <laughs> <laughs> no music behind it. Like the, everything's the, just stop. the Petering Out Podcast. Yeah, <laughs> we go back to everything else. Like, the Petering Out Podcast is brought to you by Pistol Pete Junior, G Roll, and Chubb Dish. <laughs> Please enjoy the rest of the show. <laughs> um, we just watched. Saul the, petering out from here. <laughs> we we just watched the uh, Hellboy trailer, the new Hellboy trailer, and I think you had seen it prior to us seeing it. Uh-huh. What did you What did you feel after the first one? The first trailer? Yeah, I felt meh. Man. Yeah, yeah. And I, after I mean, and after this one, I'm like, yeah, I kind of want to see that. Yeah, yeah this one's definitely sold me more. I, I, I was curious, but man, mm-hmm. I, I won this because the first trailer, you could tell it was being more, it was going more brutal. Like where more, there's gonna be, uh, there was clearly gonna be blood and uh-huh. guts, and where the previous Hellboy movies were slightly more. They were PG-13, right? Yeah, I think they were PG-13. Yeah, the first one, like the bad guys weren't. And this bad. one, he said, "Fuck." <laughs> I was like, oh, he said, fuck. He said, fuck. That's yeah. the name of this episode. <laughs> he said, fuck. The, the first one, the bad guys weren't that, like, cool. Like, they were kind of whack. Yeah, like, like, that, like that they, they, they had the whole, the, there was, like, the Nazi the Nazi implication, but then they, like, quickly went away from that, and it was just... Yeah, if they would have stuck with that, it would have been cool. Yeah. And this one, yeah, no, it, it seems what's the... And then the second one, the bad guys weren't that cool either. I, like I hated that fucking those elves, man. Yeah, they were just some fucking annoying. The alien. second one was more kitty than the first one. The first one at least had some dark elements to it. Mm-hmm. The second one was just like yeah, they were like they they, they... even the golden army looked just cartoony. Yeah, they, it was a sequel, just... but it was like completely different than the first. Yeah, and the, and then it really didn't have it was a sequel, but it still didn't even have like a correlation of the first. Yeah, one. it was just kind of like oh, now they're doing this adventure now. I still think Ron Perlman is a better Hellboy. Yeah, I think it's hard to it's, it's hard to you think of somebody. Some... Yeah, it's hard to think of somebody on the spot. Hopper like, who... is is mm-hmm. not a bad choice. No, 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 no. he's definitely he, not a he's bad the choice. closest to Ron Perlman. I think they would fit it. But they can do it. The thing is, is like they could have like Ron Perlman wanted to do it. But the thing is, I think they want to try to make another franchise out of it. And Ron Perlman was already he's saying, old. like, I could do one more, and that's about it. He's too it. old, yeah. Because he even said, like, I'll do one more before I'm too old to do the to play the part. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean... Yeah, yeah, but that was, like, five years ago, and it took him, like, four years to get, even get that shit going. Yeah, so, exactly. But, so probably by the time that they actually got it going, he was far already too old. Yeah. He's yeah. not doing anything anymore. Yeah, yeah, he's... I mean, he's old, man. Yeah. He's still a little hell of an actor. Did you see, uh... Joe Pesci? Have you seen him in that commercial, that uh, Home Alone commercial? Yeah, dude. He yeah. looks great. Yeah. He looks great. He's going to be on that on the new movie with... Yeah, uh, with like everybody. Uh, with De Niro and Al Pacino. Yeah. And Scorsese. De Niro just looks bloated. Like, he's just so... Uh, yeah. He looks like the shark from Shark Tales. <laughs> he's just all like puffy, just around. I'm surprised Pesci hasn't done, hasn't done anything, because he looks good. Yeah, I, mean, I think well, I think maybe that's because he kind of went away from everything for a while and just... Took care of himself. Took care of himself. Whereas, you know, yeah. when you're living that lifestyle, the Hollywood lifestyle, you kind of got to be everywhere to keep your name. Well, yeah, I get it. Because you know that lifestyle. Well, it's a lot of work. Oh, I do. People don't Very think well. it's a lot of work. See, this is, you know, Pistol Pete Jr. and this whole, this whole thing is just a whole, it's, it's, mm-hmm. it's another. Yeah. You're actually Chris Pratt. <laughs> and I'm Chris Evans. And he's Chris Hemsworth. And we're all just talking here. Did we talk about, yes, we did. About Hulk Hogan. Hulk, uh, the Hulk Hogan biopic. We talked about that last week. Yeah. Yes, we did. We didn't do any casting though. We were supposed to do casting, remember? We did. We talked about that. We're not. No, remember after that. After I said Matthew we like, McConaughey. No, we talked about the episode. No, we well, no about Hogan. Yeah, well, we said we were gonna we were gonna cast like the Macho Man and all these other ones. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. And we, we remember right before you left. I think we talked about like let's think about it, and then we'll, next week we'll our cast for the ultimate <laughs> Hulk Hogan movie. Oh no. 
Yeah, because I didn't do it. Oh, because we just, we just mentioned Andre the Giant. Andre the Giant, yeah. No, did yeah. we? No, huh? We did. We just talked about who would play Hulk Hogan. No. Oh, yeah. No, we we, we talked. In we we about made it. the comment of oh, who would play Andre? And then we moved on. We talked in. Per- <laughs> I know we talked in person about it. I think. Oh, it wasn't. I, th- I thought we did it on the air. I don't yeah, know. No, you're right. Did. Maybe we did. But no. Okay. Now think about it. Because you got to get Hogan. You got to have Vince. Well, Vince could be in it. Vince. Yeah, but would Vince be in it? He can be. I doubt it because they're probably gonna go deep. He into could the play hole. his dad. Yeah, Vince could play Vince Senior. That would be dope. That would. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Shane play Vince because <laughs> nah, he doesn't even look like no this. Shane yeah well, now he kind of does you know, but he's, he's too he's like he, I guess he could you know he's actively wrestling again Shane really he was a tag team champion with the Miz recently he looks he looks okay he looks in great shape but he's still like, he's he, old he's really just from the neck up he's just old he's like 50 now <laughs> yeah it's crazy how old they are now um but yeah who would play Vince like obviously okay Hogan's already cast who could play Macho How far Man? are they following? What, what did they did they mention the timeline that they're following him? I no, they didn't. I'm assuming they're gonna they're, like, they're, they're probably gonna get. They're probably gonna do like the beginning of of the Andre the Giant thing. No, I, I'm but I, they, they would have to do his early life, how he got to into the business. They would have to do his WWE run, and then they would they they might end it where he beat Andre the Giant for the belt. No, I think they, they might, they could probably, right? Because remember he retired for a long time to do that show Thunder in Paradise? No. It was like a boat, like he he was like a, I don't know what he was. He wasn't a detective, but he was like, he was in Florida. I wonder how then, gritty they're going to get with it, or are they just going to stick to like this whole storyline? Well, I think it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be one of those, uh... Um, it's just going to be like a base level, like... What do they call it, a biopic? Mm-hmm. So, so they, yeah, but... they want to make it gritty. Yeah, but are you going to be... Going so, into just the history, because a lot of people don't know the history of Hulk Hogan. Yeah. So you could just make a movie about, like, exactly what happened in his life. Yeah. As far as people viewing it. That's true. Oh, I wonder. I, I, that's or you good. could do it. No, because it... Or you could just do it, like, the way they would do, like, the like the way they did the fighter, kind of, where they just kind of, like, oh, you already know all the shit you saw on TV, so That's true. we're just showing you everything else. Yeah, yeah that could be it, too. They could have completely uh, ignored the whole... But see, that would be dumb because I think that's what people are going to go see. They want to see. Yeah, they I would rather. See that honestly, nostalgia. I would rather see that with a little bit. Oh, back. Yeah, I'd rather see the WWE. Like, let me see his run. Let me see yeah. when he was a star. That was a weird horn. Sound. That was. It's not like it's someone that might. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was the mailman. The oh. chest mailman. <laughs> she got you. It's just a What's your problem with that mailman? <laughs> it's a bitch. She's like afraid of the dog, so we have to get a PO box because he's afraid of fucking the only one in that punk. Yeah, yeah. little punk. Because Ivy barks at him. Oh. Ivy barks at everybody. Yeah, he's, no, he's a little bit. That's, that's, that's all she does. He can't just though. go to the door. Like, where is he? Yeah, yeah, he got one it, at the front. Like, he can't even go to the front of the fucking driveway and put mail in. Pussy. Maybe he has PTSD. Maybe he was attacked by dogs as a child. A the sound bit. of barking dogs sends him into fits of rage. <laughs> he's, he's a little bit. <laughs> or as a fetal position. Or oh, the fetal position. One of the two. <laughs> well, don't be a fucking mailman. <laughs> <laughs> it's your ass, Mr. Postman. Um... But yeah, I'm I'm curious because about this movie, just because I want to see what they did. You guys see the trailer for that? It's called I think it's called The Dirt on Netflix. The Dirt. Yeah, I told I I, I told Chubb about it. Um, Stupid. I'm just kidding. It's a, uh, <laughs> it's, a it's a biopic of, of Molly Crew. Yeah. And I, but Stupid. see that one, it looks like they're doing just the party days. It's just like like this is when they were famous. Like, mm-hmm. It'll probably do like this is how they met. This is how they became a band. This is their first big break, and now mm. all their fucking heroin and partying and sticking dicks in burritos and shit. Mm. Did you hear about that? Yeah, fucking burritos. Stupid. They're doing a Elton John, uh, yeah, movie. It's gonna be that kid from um, Kingsman, Kingsman yeah. yeah. Which he's already done Elton John songs in in sing. He was a gorilla. Is he? Yeah. So he sings that Elton John song on that, and he yeah. sounds just like fucking Elton John. Does he? Yeah. But is it him singing? Yeah. Supposedly, I don't, I don't know. I don't know why they have to do that. Just because it's not Rami Malek singing, from what I understand. I thought it was. It wasn't him. I thought. I don't think it was. Oh, yeah, I don't okay. think so. Right. Uh, or yeah, I think, I think that. I think they said it was pre-recorded. Uh, no, it was actual. It might have been him singing, but it might have been. Oh, like, he wasn't actually. Yeah, yeah. Might have oh. been. Uh, like in a studio. Yeah. Did they, you have you seen it? Well, they they usually do it, don't they? Yeah. But yeah, I'd yeah, rather them just use the real shit and then just voice. The, yeah. Uh, Lip sync that shit and just have the real fucking guy. Mm-hmm. Bohemian Rhapsody is a fucking hell of a movie. I enjoy it. Is it? Thoroughly. I haven't watched it. 
It's really good. Um, yeah, they're, they're my, I, I think, did I tell you, no, I, have we talked about it? I know I, I've been telling everyone about, like, my favorite scene in that whole movie. It's like they made it, they, I, I found out later on that this didn't actually happen. They kind of made it up for the movie. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but I, I guess there was, there was pushback on the Bohemian Rhapsody album. They were told it was never going to be a hit. Mm-hmm. But the way they set it up in the studio. So they have Mike Myers playing the studio executive. And uh, they have, so they have Mike Myers playing the studio. Are they making another Austin Powers? Yeah, I heard. Well, I've heard rumors of it. I've heard I rumors. Heard, yeah, I heard and then uh, Bill and Ted Three starts filming this spring. Oh my god, really? Yeah. Same, same thing with Ghostbusters. Um, there is rumor that Finn Wolfhard is going. I'm just so Finn curious to see Keanu Reeves. Uh, seriously, to play like, that like role that. again? <laughs> Especially with him being so much older. Now. Yeah. And, yeah, they should and, have like. And he his... has like he has a reputation now as like as the as badass. badass. For... <laughs> yeah, he's gonna go back. But I think I think that could be why. That's he probably wants why to he's doing it. Yeah, yeah. because, because that, that's why everyone's... he didn't want to do Ted in the first place because everyone was seeing him as Ted. Yeah. And then now, now that everybody sees him as a fucking as a bad as yeah. he's the one. Now he's gonna be a dummy. Um. <laughs> yeah. But to you go back go to full <laughs> full to go back to Bohemian Rhapsody really quick, um, so because you you know that uh, Bohemian Rhapsody that song I wonder how they're gonna do that movie wasn't movie. a hit until sixteen years later, and part of that was because of what happened in Wayne's World that that scene that iconic mm-hmm. scene in Wayne's World, so they have Mike Myers playing the record executive they play him the song and they're saying what is this this isn't rock and roll uh-huh. kids will never turn this up in their cars and bang their heads to it oh I think you uh-huh. did so. I think you did <laughs> and all that's missing from that line is him to look at the camera and just kind of like <laughs> cause it's Mike Myers saying this will never happen and that's uh-huh. exactly what Mike like he was famous for making this song famous uh-huh. <laughs> but yeah it was just that that's my favorite scene in it it's just a funny funny thing um what else we got that is pretty great they got Mike Myers yeah Nice. And he's doing the Scottish that like the the not it's like not quite Shrek not quite fat bastard but it's close enough right. and, yeah. Um, let's see here. Oh, that mountain lion guy. We have a, is this how long it takes for people to actually read an article? What do you mean? Because how long would this story come out about the mountain lion guy? It was like three or four weeks ago, three weeks ago. Yeah, it's been. And then now people are like, "Oh, Whoa. it was a baby." It was a baby. Well, I guarantee you most articles didn't actually say that it was a baby. Mm-hmm. They, they all said didn't. it was like three months old. I well, know. That's, that's why I always said this most... fucking guy is a fucking a little bitch. Like yeah. this guy's everyone's... I would well, go on all the things. I would well, what happens things, is... I was like, he killed a fucking baby. Yeah. yeah. And then people would be like, oh man, a fucking 10-pound cat is hard to do. I'm like, come on, Fuck dude. you. You could just snap a little 10-pound cat. Yeah, you I was like, okay, a if you're fighting, cat. okay, six 10-pound cats. Yeah, maybe. That's a fucking <laughs> other story. Now that's crazy. I don't know, but if four. you're fighting... Yeah, four, okay, maybe. Yeah. But you're fighting a, a 40-pound fucking lion. Yeah. Like, I'm going to choke, choke that thing out. Because I'm, <laughs> I'm, like, way stronger than that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's... A forty-pound chimpanzee. And see the thing about it too: at, at that age, because a forty-pound chimpanzee is like adult. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They have like well, they have like a muscle, double, double. a muscle efficiency, yeah. uh-huh. like that's like three times ours. So like a pound of muscle for them is like three times strength or some shit, like eight times something like that. Because <laughs> <laughs> they have crazy efficiency from just climbing and shit. Yeah. Really quick, you should be cast as George the Animal Steel. You just need to shave your beard. Because with the bald head I'm too, I'm too small. and the back hair, mm-hmm. you could you could clearly play George the Animal Steel. And the back hair? <laughs> yeah, I got crazy back hair. <laughs> I just recently shaved all that my head off. That was a secret, bro. Why'd you have to tell everybody he had <laughs> Well, no, just because I looked at you and like because where you're sitting, you're being backlit. So it's like you have this, oh, this aura coming off your back. <laughs> so it's all being, like, this mane. It's, yeah, it's, it's being lit majestically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because you recently shaved your head, so it's like it. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just, re- I, I just recently had nothing to shave my back. I haven't I, shaved my I body for a long, it. like years, because it's it's stupid. It's it's it's, it's an effort. <laughs> stupid. Uh, yeah. It's I'm stupid. I'm self conscious about the back hair, so I was like, let me get rid of this shit quickly. Okay, I don't care. Um, I don't know what you want me to do. <laughs> <laughs> Like, it's just hair. Calm down, people. No, yeah, like, no. It's just fucking hair. I mean, like, people. <laughs> no, people talk shit, yeah. But, yeah, yeah, you're right. It is it's just, just hair. fucking but... hair. Everybody has hair. Um, it looks dirty. No, nah, it's not even that. It's just because it's just. It's 
hair. It's just hair. Yeah. I mean, but, it does look but, like dirt, though, from far from away. From far like, away, yeah. Like you got, like, dirt on your back. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I mean, because well, I mean, society nowadays, everybody... Back? Everybody, yeah, especially if you come out of like water or something. Yeah, <laughs> but no, everybody wants like that pristine, perfect Smooth skin. Look. Yeah, yeah. There, like, there's no a whole thing in Wreck-It Ralph, and uh, Wreck-It Ralph breaks the internet when they're looking. It's it's Penelope and and, uh, and Ralph. They're looking at Zangief, mm-hmm. and she's like, "Hear me out. I think he waxes." And she's he's like, "No, look at him. He's like super hairy. No, he's only hairy on his chest and his shins." <laughs> he was like. Oh my god, I think you're... Because like all perfectly like shaped. <laughs> oh my god, I think you're right. <laughs> I should do my hair like a six pack. Like <laughs> I've seen that. There's actually people that they shave it like that. They should do the Zengi. The fucking... The light people. Or like what's Kimbo used to just do like a... Like a thing. Oh yeah, yeah. Like a, you know what? I might do the Zengi <laughs> thing now. <laughs> I got enough. Um, Star Wars? The new... Uh, fucking Disneyland land that's going to be opening up. I guess the details, like all the details are out now about what's going on. So there's going to be two major attractions. They're going to have a bunch of, they're going to have a, you know how there's Build-A-Bear? Mm-hmm. But they're going to have the droid workshop where you can build your own droid, customize them. Mm-hmm. Kind of like what they do with the lightsabers. Like a little bionicle? Like they're going to be they're bigger. It's a good idea. They're bigger? They're going to be, they're, it looks like they're going to be about two to three feet tall. It's pretty good. Uh, yeah. Dope. They, that does actually it depends on how like creative you get with it. Y- yeah. And then they could get pretty crazy with the robots. And then they're gonna do the build. A, you know how they do the build a lightsaber in, in Tomorrowland? Uh huh. This, this isn't even the right fucking story. Are they gonna <laughs> move it? They're gonna move it into Star Wars now? No, they're gonna have another one, and it's gonna it's it's got, it's, it's gonna be oh where's it good where's it at? It's gonna be like somebody's fucking workshop. Can I have a white lightsaber? I don't know. That'd be fucking badass. Yeah, purple. But there's gonna be more detail. Not black. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. I don't know who this lady is. Nope, this isn't the article. Damn it! But um, the the lightsabers, like, because right now the ones that the ones they sell, they're very toy looking. Uh huh. These ones look more metallic. They, they, it's, you can see it's clearly plastic. More authentic. But it looks more authentic. Or, and then like authentic. it's because like right now when you build a uh, uh, the build the lightsaber, mm-hmm. it's a flashlight. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it it holds it takes D batteries and it's it's a massive handle. Mm-hmm. So um, is it one of those ones that have cones? That you fucking yeah, it's, yeah, it's one of those. It's okay. exactly one of those. Whereas these ones hey, are going to be... Those are going to be the ones that are just the stick coming out? No. Right? No, it's still, it's going to... It's a proprietary uh, release system. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So just psh. Yeah, it'll actually release and it'll retract. But is it the cones? It, it, it's going to be the cones, but they're going to be more mm-hmm. like efficient and more... And, and it will actually re- retract and rele- or retract on its own as well. Oh, um, cool. And they're thinner. So it actually looks more like a film... Lightsaber. Yeah. yeah. Instead of instead of the gigantic fucking kid ones. Yeah, because it's, it's all the one fat. at the base. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah it's, it's like, 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 it's like the thickness diameter. of a coke can. Yeah. Um, I need to isolate just me. Those are cool though. <laughs> those were cool. No, 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 those are fun. Don't get yeah, me wrong. Still... But these ones are going to be more. And there's going to be it's going to be completely. They're going to be way more customizable. Mm-hmm. They're going to have the blue bantha milk. Uh, they're going to have blue milk, green milk, and something else. Who cares? Then they're going to have. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not <laughs> like, all right, it's milk. Well, no, no, it's not, it's not going to be actual milk. No, but they're, like, yeah. They're yeah, going to call it... It's a drink, it, okay? Yeah, it's a, yeah. <laughs> but like they're the, be calling it like the, the Harry milk. Potter at Universal Studios. Yeah, the butterbeer. Oh, that butterbeer. Well, butterbeer's an actual, like... Because, right. like, the blue milk is, like... It, it's blue yeah, milk. But yeah, butterbeer's an actual, like... Yeah. There's a recipe. Yeah, but it's still stupid. It's cream soda with butter in it, but... <laughs> um, I heard it's really good. I heard it's overly sweet, though. I haven't tried it. I'm Probably. sure it is. It's cream soda with butter in it. <laughs> they have an alcoholic cream soda. Cream soda's well. already sweet enough. Like. Yeah. I thought it was just like butterscotch or something. It's probably what it tastes like. It, it might, yeah. Butterscotch um, is good. You can't sleep on butter. You shouldn't sleep on butter. No, butterscotch is fucking, yeah. Like a butterscotch on a, on a vanilla ice cream? Yeah, butterscotch is way overlooked. Um, Then there's going to have the, they're going to have the, the cantina where you can... The buy booths. And the, so, you know, the big thing about right now, everyone's making a big deal, like, because it's the first time Disneyland, Disneyland itself is mm-hmm. selling alcohol. Mm-hmm. In California, you can buy alcohol and walk through the whole park. Uh-huh. In Disneyland... You could only be in the cantina? You could, No, you can only be in... Star Wars Land? Star Wars, Star Wars Land. Land. Oh. They won't let you take any booths out of Star Wars Land. Hmm. So That's weird. Yeah. But I, I guess it's to keep the... Uh, I guess they're, they're considering this an expansion and not part of the true park. Uh-huh. Because if you notice, okay, there's Tomorrowland, Fantasyland, Frontierland, um, 
Disneyland. So but are you going to be, is it going to be, like, if, it's not like if you walk into Disneyland, are you able to get into Star Wars, to the Star Wars that from Disneyland? Yes. Or, or is it like, you know, you have Disneyland... In California Adventure, and no, no, no. Like it's gonna, straight ahead, would it be Star Wars? No, no. You're gonna go. It, it would be the same way. You would go into Disneyland, and you would walk towards the castle, and then you would go toward. You, know, you, you would go to Frontierland, and then you know where Big Thunder Mountain is. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be over in that area. Hmm. So that's how, that's where you would access it. Um, the new Star Wars hotel. Fuck, they showed some of the pictures because they're building a Star Wars hotel, mm-hmm. and the fucking the bedroom. It looks like the interior of. Uh, Kind of like the interior of the Millennium Falcon. That's what okay. the rooms are going to look like. They're all going to be... And then... <coughs> the, the, one of the rides, the, the Smuggler's Run. Mm-hmm. So, these ones... The rides, the rides themselves are putting like, putting a lot of effort into, obviously, from what they're saying. But the lines themselves are going to be... like Remember we talked about how 30 minute long attraction or whatever? Uh-huh. The lines themselves are going to be legit. Or you're... Like, so part of it... And... It bugs me because I know it's going to happen. Is because there's going to be the... You're going to actually walk into the Millennium Falcon. Like, it's fucking just like the set. Uh-huh. And they're going to have the, the hollow chess table. It's going to be a complete recreation of the hollow... Can table. I play chess? I don't know if you can actually play the chess. I probably <laughs> play chess, yeah. But think about it. If how said uh, that their lines are going to be interactive and part of the... Yeah. After the first month, how many initials are going to be carved into that fucking hollow... De- uh, the so hollow chest fucking... so retarded. Exactly. <laughs> that thing's going to be just fucking... Sh- you know. yeah, Disneyland's have... really good about it, usually. But, but this one's supposed have... to be interactive, so I think people are going to actually be able to go up to stuff. Uh-huh. Maybe they have a guy, like... Yeah, they'll probably... probably... Have somebody watching. And they're saying the Star Wars... Ends... So, like, like, when you go to arcade and there's a 3D one and fucking the glasses are all cut up... Oh, and shredded. Out of the thing, and yeah. Like, fuck people you, people. Assholes. Yeah. Shitty ass person. Yeah. Who cares about your fucking game? Yeah. Like, there's, there's the same yeah. people that... Have, uh, oh God. Have you ever gone to a public restroom yeah. and, like, someone just carved, like, super the deep toilet. into the fucking toilet seat? Yeah. Where yeah. it's, like, sitting on... It's, like, sitting on razor blades because someone just fucking... Uh, just, like, shredded the fuck out of the toilet seat? Like, fuck. Not, what if you don't put the paper on and you're sitting on there for a while? You got you just get their fucking... <laughs> get together. You, you, you got a fucking imprint on your ass? <laughs> that. <laughs> I got your name on my ass. Backwards. <laughs> Backwards. <laughs> See, when I when I used to tag, that's that's the one thing. Like, I never saw like, cause I would do like I would tag buses and I would tag, like I would never tag shit people used. Like, mm-hmm. and then like toilet seats to me was I was like, why am I gonna put my name where people are gonna piss on it? Yeah. <laughs> you know, like literally, people are just gonna be putting their ass on my name all day long. Yeah. They, all those guys get off on that. I guess. Oh, yeah, so Cuz like to me like right and I don't I don't know if it's I don't know if it's just when I grew up or the way I look cuz to me like when I when I did it it was the whole is the, the the thing about doing graffiti was getting your name out there, getting your name up and getting your name respect. Not for people to piss on your name. Like someone pissing on your name was a legit disrespectful thing to do. <laughs> yeah, cuz you could go piss on someone's head that they hit up on them. Yeah, right? And cross it out. Yeah. And like, but now it's like, next to it. I'm gonna fucking tag on this fucking toilet seat so people could, it's, eh, you know. Um, <laughs> and then the other thing with Star Wars, right. to go back to Star Wars, oh, I was gonna say we should uh, start a new segment. All right, let's start a new segment. Hey guys, uh, really quick, just want to take a quick break to talk about Anchor. Uh, this is the app we're using to create this podcast right now. Um, if you've ever thought about starting your own podcast, um, Anchor FM is awesome. Uh, when we were trying to get this podcast off the ground, we had millions of questions. We had nothing, no idea how to do it. How to record an episode? It, it was a struggle. Um, how do you find background music? We still don't have background music, but Anchor FM lets us do that. Uh, we just don't use it. <laughs> um, how do I get my show posted? How do I get it on Apple, uh, on Apple uh, Podcasts, Spotify, uh, Google Play uh, Music, all the, uh, all the other places people listen? Where do I find advertisers? The answer to every one of these questions is really simple. Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, distributing, and monetizing your podcasts. And best of all, it's 100% free and 100% ridiculously easy to use. Uh, My favorite thing is that everything is done in the app. You record, you edit, you post, everything's just right there. You know, uh, when I'm not around, G-Roll is able to do it. And how easy is it? It's easy. (laughs) <laughs> there you go <laughs> um, so anchor.fm slash start get your own podcast if you're not doing it 
You're wrong. <laughs> and we're back. To the Peter It Out podcast. <laughs> um, so, with Star Wars Land, they're going to have four restaurants, two major rides, the shops, that, so the, the droid shop, and the lightsaber shop. There was something else. See, like, that's probably the only place I would even have the blue milk or the green milk or whatever is at a restaurant. Yeah. If I was in that restaurant, I was like, oh, I'll, I'll get the green milk. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, I'm not going to go and wait in line and be like, get the blue milk. Yeah. yeah. Get that blue shit, dog. I don't know. What, what if you go, okay, what if you sit down at the restaurant, you get the blue milk and it turns out to be fucking amazing, uh-huh. and then you're, like, passing a stall, and like, oh, look, they're selling blue milk. No. Water. It's probably not <laughs> I doubt it'll be that amazing, bro. It's probably it's probably like twenty dollars. Probably fucking like sixteen ounces of that thing. Right. <laughs> it it's probably just a blue raspberry. Is it alcoholic it's a, or what? No, it's it's not. It's, pro- it's probably just a blue raspberry slushie. They should make a they should make a, an alcoholic version since they're gonna be selling alcohol. Right? Yeah, right. They might. You never know. Um, Whack. Kidding. But the, 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 what I've been hearing from what I've been hearing about the rides. So the first one, the smuggler runs. It's more. It's it's. Along the lines of Star Tours, where it's a you're in the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon, and there's only going to be four people or six people, six people, and but it's literally you're in the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon, mm-hmm. and and like you're seeing everything through the cockpit window, and it's, but it's going to be more like Star Tours, where it's you know it's shaking true. around, and um, and then the other one was kind of it's it sounds like Star Tours but more trammy. It's like you're like you're on a tram kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, the trams are actually, they look like fucking, they don't look like trams. They're like fucking little spaceships and shit. Mm-hmm. They're, I forget what they are right now. Cause there was a picture of them. I just can't remember the name of the TIE ship. Fighters? They're not TIE Fighters. That'd be fucking cool. <laughs> Here's a little TIE Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, and that, that, that line, that ride sounds like it's going to be long. Cause like you're going through one port, like you're going through a, uh, you're going through a port to a, like a vacation destination. Uh-huh. But then... You get sidetracked with a bunch of rebels, and then you're like in this, in this battle between the rebels and the the what are they called right now? The resistance? Re, no, the other guys. The order. order. The order. I can't want to say the republic, but that's. Uh-huh. Um, so then you go, then you're on the republic side or the order side, and you come back and you make it to your vacation, and you get back to Disneyland. Mm. Um. But they sound pretty cool. Like I'm, I'm describing them, describing them terribly, and I gotta find the article again to show you guys. But yeah. Um, what else were we gonna talk about? There was something else we were gonna talk about. Pokemans. Oh yeah, the Pokemon trailer. Um, I liked it. She looks awesome. It does. It looks fucking. It looks gorgeous. Yeah. It, I don't, and I don't think they can do anything about turn base. There's no, there's no, there's good, no real ba- way to no yeah. good way you can do uh, do something like. I mean, unless they did stadium, like stadium. No, but stadium wasn't stadium turn base as well. Stadium is turn base as well. Yeah. Unless they did like Pokemon. Yeah, they do like Pokemon, but <laughs> so that's that's still not like knowing the move. That's not like using the moves and stuff. You're yeah, just, no, that's yeah. You're gonna be just mashing, but your, mashing. Your it's not the same. But. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't think they should go away from turn base. Like, okay, with Final Fantasy VII, I don't know if they should have gone. Like, they, I, they're no, saying they're with Final away. Fantasy, you could do that because it's it's people and you're just fighting. That's true, right? But but I think in this part of the, the thing is, Pokemon is like you're a, a person telling commanding. The, yeah, it's literally another thing. Being, yeah, to to do it. So that's why that's why it's turn based. Yeah, but you could still have that element without it being turn based. Well, they do that in Smash Brothers. Yeah, <laughs> well, and you, you pick the you pick the Pokemon there. trainer, but you control the Pokemon. Yeah. So, but it's still but it's still the thing because it, you can't, I it guess the, the only way I could even see it happening is if it's like that, and like every move you call out is like on cooldown. Yeah, on stuff like, and I wouldn't be cool with that. Like, I'm not, no, you something. just do like a or even if there, even if there was a way to like. Where instead of it being turn based, but you're you're maybe you're controlling a your your Pokemon stuck within a certain I radius, like it's, and it's then just... the other Pokemon like you can kind of move back and forth, and you're calling you're calling out the moves, as, you know, so it's like <laughs> fucking <coughs> sand slash, and it, it does it as you call it out, but then like you can like move and do it again, or you know, so it's not quite turn based. It's not turn based 
You can do moves at the same time. No, but you're you should. Ju- you should. They should let you do the move. There's a timing to the move. Like it takes a certain time for the move to go, mm-hmm. and you you're dodging and you're moving around, so you're not always gonna hit with the same fucking thing. So you can't just use uh, like a powerful attack every time because because they're, they're gonna see it coming and they're gonna be out of the way. Yeah. So it's like just having a. An, I feel like if you do like an arena style type, like. Uh, Shit with element with elemental. She jumped right on the. Yeah. Right. I don't know. Yeah. It might. It probably just the movement, but with elemental type things mixed in, and then you know you have obstacles in the way, and you have you have a free control of your thing. Yeah. Around, and there. I can see that. Right now, when she when she stood, I forgot she was in here. So when she stood up, she's so big, and I, I thought it, it legit looked like someone had just crawled out from under the bed yeah. until like it took my eyes fo- a second to focus on her and realize it was just her. Yeah, she's like the size of an eight-year-old. Yeah, she's freaking massive. She's uh, still looking at you. Hey, come on. Yeah, she doesn't like me. I don't know why she. I don't know. I don't know why. Yeah. Why are you being mean? Maybe I don't pet her enough. That's what it is. But yeah, no, I can see what you're saying too. But that's what I was thinking, like something like that, maybe. But see, maybe to like not. But they don't want to. They don't want to mess with what they. Do. Yeah, it's it's a it's a known formula. It works well. People love it. Yeah. You can't just completely change. Everyone would be like, "Oh, what the fuck!" Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, it's like, it's like what Mario Brothers game. Just do like a whole like this is a different. This is a Pokemon game, but it's a different. It's, it's a not, diff- it's yeah. well, different. Well, well, different. I, well, I think that's why they're doing things like pug, pug, poking, pug, poking, 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 yeah. poking. Uh, so that like so, so there's people who like want it, that, yeah, but they're not gonna change the way the, the original the, the original games yeah are. there's like a, the core games are always going to be the core games yeah and, that's why um, they did put let's go eevee and uh pikachu yeah to kind of bring in new i thought players. They, they might though because being that it's not just a handheld anymore yeah mm-hmm. that they might switch to uh more of a action yeah, type thing but no Speaking of poking, because it's... But they don't make, like, handhelds anymore. It's just Switch, right? It's just it's Switch, switch yeah. it's just but, the, yeah. but the thing is, they make games that are more handheld-based. Yeah. And then more games... Right. And then the games that yeah. are more console-based. Yeah. So it's like... Like, Legend of Zelda, you could take with you and play, uh-huh. but it's, it's, it's much a much better. deeper experience on the console. Like, when you play yeah. it on yeah, the TV. Yeah, just sitting here and playing like this. Yeah. yeah. It's much. It's a much deeper experience. But yeah, you can take, and it's still, it's still just as good. Mm-hmm. But when you play, it's it's better. Yeah, better. It's, it's not it's, a bad. It's not a bad it's experience. Better. I should say. In, in, in yeah, Marvel like Pokemon movie. would probably be something that you could just play handheld the whole time. Yeah, Smash Bros. That, that you have to play. Uh-huh. You have to play on the TV. Like I tried playing it, and like it's so like I lose my character as it is. So when yeah. I'm playing on the smaller one, it's just like. <laughs> I want to buy. I want. I seen like a little like third party attachment that goes on the back of the switch. It gives like extra, it gives like the controller grips, oh, like uh, like it does on yeah, the Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty sweet. Um, to go back to what we were talking about poking, you know how the new Technic came out a while back, right? Mm-hmm. And they added a bunch of new characters, and there's a bunch of DLC characters they added, like just brand new characters from other games. Mm-hmm. And right now the big deal is they just add Negan. From Walking Dead. From Walking Dead. To Smash Brothers. No, to uh, <laughs> yeah, to Smash Brothers. To <laughs> what? Uh, to Tekken. Oh. And the, the trailer, the release That's trailer, fine. was literally that scene when he's walking and he's eeny, mean, and it's like That's all cool. all the characters from Tekken yeah. are there. And they're, <laughs> That's all, funny. they're all scared. Yeah. That's stupid. Yeah, but he, and he has a bat, and like he has a finisher, or like like he, like he has like a knockout combo, and the knockout combo, like he hits them, he gets them, they, like he hooks their knees with the bat, and it makes them drop to their knees. And before they can recover, he just comes and swings the bat across their face. Mm-hmm. Does their eyeball roll out? No, no, no eyeball rolling out. But it does look pretty dope. But yeah, it's, and it's and it's actually fucking what's the name? That would have been dope in Mortal Kombat. Yeah, yeah Nikki would have been better in Mortal Kombat than he would have been or, in Tekken. Uh, and um, dead or alive? Yeah, no. <laughs> what? No, what's the the pretty the pretty one or the? One where you're running away from all the evil people. Oh, uh, <laughs> Dead by Daylight. Yeah, Dead by Daylight. Yeah, or Dead by Dawn or whatever. It's whatever it's called. Yeah. You just you want to be on the show too, do I? Just breathing into the mic. Last week she was all that. Yeah, she's all just breathing in. Um. I was watching. They just did the Johnny Cage uh, reveal trailer for Mortal Kombat 11. 
And they, I, I think they, I don't know. I don't know if you had this movie before. Remember, remember Smoke's car- uh, Smoke's movie where he would or not Smoke. It was a uh, Noob when Noob would call him that shadow and it would grab you. Mm-hmm. Well, now Johnny Cage calls him a stunt double, uh-huh. and it grabs oh. you. It's, it's like a stunt double. They're showing Johnny it's Cage. him, but it's clearly a different person. Have you seen uh-huh. those where they're showing Johnny Cage's like uh, on IGN? They're showing his. Fatality and stuff. Yeah, fatality is pretty dope. I think he has two of them, right? They have two different ones. Uh, no. What it is is so it's him doing the uppercut to somebody, like to, to like uppercut their head off. Uh-huh. Then they're like, "Cut! Uh, we didn't get that. Can we try it again?" And then like it's the same thing over again. And it goes, "Cut! Yeah. We got to do this one more time." And then yeah. finally, the last one. Yeah, but there was one where he stabs him with an Oscar. No, no, no. That's not a. That's the because. Uh, so what you have now? Because remember when they oh, had the. That's like an X-ray move. Yeah, it's an X-ray okay. move. They cause they got a re- they 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 got rid of the X-ray moves and they yeah. replaced it with a. Uh, like they call it, it's like a last stand kind of move. Like you can only use it when your health is below thirty percent, uh, and it's like kind of like a way to come back. And if you land it, it takes away half your health. Yeah. So, but it's one of those. Uh-huh. But yeah, the, that one maybe the, the the Johnny Cage one because like the first uppercut he hits him and like the jaw comes off, and then the guy just stands there, but yeah. like he's not really wobbling or anything. They're like cut, and so then he does it again. And like he uppercuts him, the whole hand, the head gets stuck on his fist. He's like, come on, who is this guy? <laughs> they cut and they do it again, and that's finally when they get the one. But it's funny though. It's funny the way they did it. That's the, the one thing about Mortal Kombat. I, I like when they have multiple finishers because, like, well, I forget, it wasn't the last one, but it was the one before that when they only had just one finisher. Yeah, but now character. they're like, why would we have multiple finishers where we could just do a whole other game with and use all those new those other finishers? Yeah, true. Because that's almost what they like. They're selling finishers. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, did you guys see that uh, during the Super Bowl? And I, I, I don't know if I brought this up to you guys. During the Super Bowl. Um, the Jordan Peele Twilight Zone commercial? Yeah. So Seth Rogen has just officially signed on to be part of it as well. Nice. Uh, a, lot of peop- a lot of people are saying, because there was another trailer. What are the channels are coming out on? Um, I think it's going to be uh, Netflix? one of Netflix? The- That'd be dope. Ooh. I wish it was Netflix. Amazon? No, it's gonna, I think it's going to be a streaming. I think it might be Amazon Prime, maybe. Oh. I think it's going to be a streaming service. I'm not sure. Cooling. Or hey. it might be ABC. ABC? What? I don't know. Let me look it up. For what show? The Twilight Zone. Wasn't ABC CISO? CISO? Didn't, wasn't that their streaming thing? ABC sounds like a Twilight show. CBS. It'll be on CBS. Stand corrected. Uh, CBS. Will... Oh, exclusively on CBS All Access. So so you have to be using their streaming service to watch it. That's whack. Which is gay. Um, but everyone's saying it, the the... the, the People that are gonna see episodes already are saying that it's fucking awesome. It's they, they're going for more of a horror aspect than they are like the psychological well, horror. They, well, they were. No, well, I mean, they some of them were fucking scary. They're dude. all scary, but they're all trippy. They're they're more like they were all thinkers, but yeah. they were fucking like always like had a, a bad ending. Yeah. So it's like a horror. One, of, one of, there's there's like, the, there's two that no, actually three that I remember the most that were um. There was one, like, uh, the, the one, I think the one that almost everybody knows is the pig face aliens, where everyone has, they, all, everyone, their faces look like this, like they're, like, pig nosed and like their cheeks are drooped down. I don't know that yeah. one. And there's the this one, one girl. Is the, uh, the gremlin on the, uh, Oh, the gremlin on, yeah, that's because they did that one, that's one of their most famous ones too. The, the Simpsons redid it, fucking, they did it in the movie. Uh huh. Um, the Simpsons did a lot of Twilight Zone stuff though. Mm-hmm. Didn't they do um, it in an airplane? The, in the in the movie, it's in an airplane. No, didn't they no. do the the movie Airplane? Did they? Oh, I know. I think I think they they yeah. throw like there's a crown on the wing, but yeah, I think they, it's kind of like a throwaway kind yeah. of thing. Um, airplane. The 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 pig face one. It was like it's a it's a I planet where everybody has that pig face, and there's this one girl that she she looks like a normal human, and she's beautiful. You know, she's one of those. She's like the fifty star. She's very beautiful, but on that planet, she's ugly, mm-hmm. and uh, she wants to get the surgery. To look like everyone else, but it keeps it. It just never holds, and she always ends up looking back like herself. Mm. And then um, she gets the surgery, but she doesn't like. She doesn't think she'll. It'll it'll last, and somehow she ends up back on Earth. She ends up on Earth somehow, mm. and on Earth she 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 like she was the ugliest person on her planet. Then she gets to Earth, and she has that fucking the surgery actually took this time, and now she's the ugliest person on Earth. It was like some weird fucking fucked up mm. ending. Um, there was the other one where the guy. He dies, and he's, he's like in like Vegas, and like everything he does is like, like the guy's telling him like, oh, you know, you can you can do whatever you want here, you know, go gamble, go do this, go do that, whatever you want, you you can do, 
and the guy gambles and he's in the, he goes to the slot machines and he's winning every time you know he's playing poker and he's got the cards every time and he's loving it everything's amazing and then but he never loses mm-hmm. so there's no more thrill of the gambling mm-hmm. and to the point where he like he starts going starts going crazy he starts going to everything win win they just running around uh he goes to a pool table and hits like, hits the ball just throws the ball and they all fall into the pockets and then like he goes over like to the, to the guy that he was talking to and he goes i thought you told me this was heaven uh-huh. goes, i never told you this was heaven uh-huh. and that's the end of the episode it was like i never told you this was heaven <laughs> Yeah, they're all horrible. They're all, yeah. Um, then there was a one from the 80s with uh, Bruce Willis in it. Have you ever seen that one? That one's a fucking trip where um, Bruce Willis's character, he's an asshole. He beats his wife. He's a drunk. He doesn't, you know. And, um, so, the actual Bruce Willis. <laughs> yeah, he's the actual Bruce Willis. <laughs> um, and he's he's just this terrible person. And he goes to the bar and he's drinking and he looks at the time. And he's like, oh, I should probably call my wife let her know where I'm at. So, he calls his house and he answers the phone. Mm-hmm. He was like, "Who is this?" And he was like, "This is so and so." No, you're not so and so. I'm so and so. And then the guy was like, "You know what? It'd probably be better if you just didn't come home." Mm-hmm. So then he goes home and he sees himself in his house, mm-hmm. and he's being nice and you know the fact like everyone loves him. He's he's not being he's, he's not being a perfect person, but he's being a better person. Mm-hmm. And um, and so he can't go back home, and the, he just keeps he keeps seeing him the, the better him mm-hmm. live his life. And little by little, it's like he's becoming like this this bum. Mm-hmm. And then finally, he runs into himself and he goes, nobody needs you here anymore. Just let go. Mm-hmm. And then like he walks away and he, I think he turns into dust or something and he just <laughs> just goes away. And it's like they go back. And so like he, the, the evil one never, or the shitty guy never existed. It's funny. It's a trip. Yeah, that, that show, that like even watching those episodes, like the acting might be a little... Like, cause it's like that '50s style, like that dramatic tone. Yeah. But it's they're still great fucking shows. Like, and I think they're, I think they're all on Netflix right now. Really? Yeah. Um, one of my buddies is on. One one of the, my former coworkers is on one episode. Really? Yeah, from the from the from the original series though. Uh-huh. <laughs> He's old as shit. He's old as shit. Uh, <laughs> see what else I got. Um. We talked about Finn Wolfhard possibly being in the new, uh... <laughs> Whoa, I read that. This headline has terrible spacing. So I just read this sentence. Ghostbusters, Strangers, Things, actor Finn Wolfhard, and Carrie Coon eyed to star. I just read the bottom line. Coon eyed? I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Coon eyed. Oh, Coon eyed. <laughs> You greasy little coon ad. <laughs> I was like, what is this article? <laughs> I don't remember clicking on that shit. Um, we didn't talk. Well, there was a spider that ate a possum. It's gigantic. It's terrifying. That's not news. That's not news. Um, did we talk about the cougar guy? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did talk about the cougar guy. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Today's Desi Arnaz's birthday. Rest in peace. May he rest in peace. Um, let me see. I think. Well, I got anything else. Is Lucy Lucy dead? She, she died in like the nineties. Oh, really? Was that long ago? I'm pretty sure. Let me see. I'm pretty sure it was like. I think she died the same day Tupac did. Maybe. I don't know. I remember her. Being... Let me see. Lucille Ball died. April twenty eighty nine. Now she didn't even make it to the nineties. Oh wow. I know, I know Desi Arnaz passed. Wait, no, maybe he didn't. Right, come on. Come on, Darwin. Yeah, he died in 86, she died in 89. So they, they died three years apart. Tupac and, uh... No, oh, no, Desi Arnaz, Desi Arnaz uh, died, yeah, three years prior to Lucy dying. Uh, Lucy, Lucille Ball? Yeah, Lucille Ball. They weren't married anymore, they had gotten divorced, and yeah. I think she had married somebody else. Hmm. I think they got divorced right after the sh- the show ended, right? Pretty much, but they were still business partners. They still worked together, but mm. he was always cheating on her. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime, <laughs> it's fucked up when he said that because like uh, Desi Arnaz always reminds me of Tata. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so what he's, he's always, like, I was about to say that. Like you said, he's always cheating on her, and I was about to say he, he reminds me of Tata. But like you had said that Wait. just before I said that. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Yeah. 
I mean, yeah, I guess. I just didn't want, you know. <laughs> Speak that into existence. Right? <laughs> um. Let's see what else we got. Anything interesting? Oh, yeah. Pokemon, it's a sword and shield is the games this time. Um, which, which starter are you leaning towards? Uh, I don't remember which one's starting for... I don't know. Oh, you mean... They, oh, the I don't know. It's you been so long since I've actually played a Pokemon game. Well, I'm saying for that game, they showed the starters. I don't remember what they were. Really you didn't even watch the trailer. I did watch the trailer. I just don't remember. <laughs> he doesn't even know who those Pokemon are. No one knows who they are. It's, they just showed them. And so they're all new Pokemon? The the, the three that they showed? Yeah. It's new Pokemon. Uh, but are they coming with how many new... <laughs> Uh, they haven't said. I've never liked their, their when they come out with new ones. Normally, well, normally what they do is like. I heard they were remaking the first movie. The uh, first what movie? Pokemon movie? Mm -hmm. Like really? the, the Mewtwo one? The Mewtwo one? Mm -hmm. Animated or live, live action? Oh, I don't know actually. I'm not sure, but I heard they're remaking it. Have you seen the new trailer for the? I think they're doing Pikachu like oh they're doing CGI. That'd be kind of cool, depending on how they do it. That'd be dope. Did you see the, the new trailer for Pikachu Detective? Or Detective Pikachu, Pikachu or whatever it's called? Uh, no. But... No, I don't like that movie. Though. It looks... It looks alright. It looks alright. It look, it, the, second, again, the second trailer looks better than the first one. I don't understand why Pikachu needs a voice. I think... I think Well, in the in the second... In this trailer, they kind of hint that it might... I, at least what I've got from it, that maybe the dad got turned into a Pokemon, and he's not really an actual Pikachu. He's like a synthetic Pikachu. <laughs> Um, so because like apparently, because like Pikachu comes to him and is like, "Your dad faked his death," or somebody faked his death, or he faked somebody's death, but that doesn't make any sense. And they go back, but mm -hmm. so like because he, so Pikachu wakes up with amnesia, and mm -hmm. all he has is that hat with the, that with the dad's name and address in it. Mm -hmm. So he goes to the apartment and meets the kid, and that's what. So mm -hmm. I'm thinking, either that or or he was a Pokemon. Or he's like it was a regular Pikachu. The dad was killed. And his essence went into that Pokemon, and then that's why he can. Oh, that's why he only he can understand. And Ryan Reynolds is his father of this black kid. Apparently, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know if he's gonna have blackface. <laughs> he's gonna be really tan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna have like a migrant the, farmer tan. Yeah, you know he's gonna have the whole COVID <laughs> orange, but <laughs> close enough. I think on that note, let's go ahead and wrap this up. You got anything? Um, yeah, I did, but I forgot. <laughs> Giro? Uh, John Jones. <laughs> you know, he failed prediction. a couple more drug tests. Did he? But he's allowed to fail with whatever this fucking metabolite is over and over again. Uh, Pick for picograms, whatever picograms. Yeah. Some That's such a bullshit. Term, some new term I've never ever heard of. Until yeah, John Jones. Fucking yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, is, what does this uh, picograms do? Let's just say it's like the smallest. Yeah, it's like a soup, like the smallest measure. measurable amount is a picogram. Uh, yeah, it's a new a fucking measurement. Oh, new now. measurement. Yeah, that is so small that they yeah. gotta come up. With but they, they 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 uh, uh, yeah, they define a way. divide they define this this measurement. As a picogram <laughs> for John Jones. Seriously, <laughs> it should be the Jones he's the only one that's ever fucking I've is ever like, heard of picograms for. It. I've never heard of it. Is it like a thousandth of a of a kilogram? They say that's like. A pinch of salt in like fucking it's a, grain a pool of or something instead yeah. of a, like Olympic pool. They keep saying Olympic pool, like Olympic. It's pools a grain so of sand in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> like Olympic pools are so much bigger. Yeah, yeah, it's such bullshit. Fuck that. The fact that he has shit in his system says he's taking shit. Even if it's a fucking a single pico cram, <laughs> whatever the fuck yeah. it is. Yeah, it's weird. It's you know. It's like like um, shady, you know the old like the old uh, 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 gold rush. The 49ers, they'd go and there's that little fleck of gold. That means there's more gold somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> the little speck of gold. Yeah, but... yeah, seriously. yeah. Because yeah, like what's weird is like okay, how come nobody else? You never never hear no pico drums you... with nobody else. Exactly. Like, nobody else in any other sport, you never hear of no fucking pico grams, and then all of a sudden we have this new word, pico yeah. grams. They need, John, for, okay. For one guy who's like one of the best fighters of all time. Yeah. 
I was, I was, uh, t- it was funny because I was talking to my buddies at work. We were talking, I forgot how we were talking, we started talking about, uh, T Pain. And I was told, I was, oh, we were talking, oh, first we were talking about R. Kelly. Mm-hmm. And it's like, there was that joke that, should, that Dave Chappelle said. It was, oh, no, no, it was on the Boondocks. It's like, why doesn't he get, why doesn't somebody get R. Kelly help? One of his friends introduced him to a woman his own age or something. Keep him away from children. They know he's got an issue. Mm-hmm. You know, and then, so well, then. they help him get <laughs> Yeah, right? Cover shit up. But then I made the same, the same argument could be said about T-Pain. This guy's got an issue with strippers. He fell in love with the stripper. He just stays in strip clubs all day. Somebody needs to keep T-Pain away from strippers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in love with a stripper. I miss T-Pain songs. John, yeah. John Jones's camp needs to keep him away from Chinese dick pills. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, I mean... No more Chinese dick... We get it. At least you need dick pills. two times with, without uh, any weird... Other than those people there. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. At least he's actually going to make it to the fight, fight and yeah. not be gone another like year or two yeah. after. But I don't... like Again, they, they're allowing this bullshit. Like, like... Again, like I said, there's a it, there are yeah, people grab me. It does seem like they're accommodating. Yeah, they are. Because <laughs> there, there's clearly something in the system. If it's a fucking picogram, if it's fucking ten picograms, if it's a fucking milligram. Yeah, forget <laughs> how long they say that this is supposed to be in the system for. And like they say that it's gonna be there for like three years or something like that. The fuck says it? They bullshit. say with these new tests that it's so that they're like so powerful or whatever. They can, these new tests. That's, that's why that there's this picogram, but. All right, but they're not using these tests on anybody. On anyone else, like yeah. Olympic, like you don't hear picograms with Olympic people. Yeah, I've never, never heard of anyone else. Oh, he pissed hot for this drug test, but and he keeps pissing hot for this drug. Well, yeah, because he's fucking still doing this shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah, stupid. It's fishy. It's fishy as fuck. And then Brock Lesnar's hopefully gonna come back to fight DC. <laughs> I would well, love to see Francis versus John Jones and Brock versus DC on the same card. Yes. And, and then, then the winners go to that. That same night? Yeah, on the same night. Yeah. Not, well, maybe not that. Could you imagine if they did a tournament like that? Like you know how the WWE yeah. has the Iron Man they tournaments should, and shit? They should do it like every like three years or something. Or yeah, where they just Every two or three years, where they're, they're like, 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 all right, we got a tournament. Well, like the old UFC used to be. Uh, a fucking, That's what it used no, to be. No weight limit. Oh, so fuck, you yeah. could just do like just old school UFC. Yeah, yeah. So just it could one, be yeah. like a one eighty five pounder versus like a fucking heavyweight. Yeah, <laughs> they should do that. They should bring it, uh, like you said once a year, yeah. or no, once like three. Or every one, three once years. every three years. Like, like, the, yeah. like or how how long is the what is it called the, the, the soccer? No, the so- <laughs> oh, soccer. every four years the World, World Cup. Cup. Yeah, like every, every four, four years. years, like the World Cup. And mm-hmm. Call it the World Cup. Yeah, there you go. Call, or call it like something like that. Yep. Fucking. Something the Universal Cup. Yep. <laughs> Make it even bigger. The Universal Cup. <laughs> <laughs> or what would they call it? Dragon Ball Z? Oh, what was it? Yeah, uh, the tournament? tournament of Power. Yeah. There you go. It's called <laughs> Tournament of Power. That'd be fucking awesome. That's going to be the name of this episode. <laughs> tournament of Power. <Yeah. laughs> UFC Tournament of Power. <laughs> on that note, let's go wrap this up. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash the Real Press Start. On Twitter at Real Press Start. Um, go and like us and rate us. Petering Out Podcast. Um, <laughs> By time. See, now people are going to look for the Petering Out Podcast. And they're going to be like, what the There's just places this thing doesn't exist. Um, follow us and like us and give us ratings. Tell us what you like, tell us what you don't like. Fucking talk to us, people. Mm. On that note, game over. What are we talking about? No more questions. <laughs>